Hello friends of Ed Family. Wow, it's been like maybe a month since my last uh, Ed Family video, YouTube. Um, it's been so busy with uh, three different conferences I was preparing for. The Transformative Leadership Conference, the inaugural Korean American Studies Conference, and very recently the Teaching for Justice uh, Conference at UCI. And I hope to have some um, thoughts on that in future Ed Family videos. But today I was at the California Civic Learning uh, showcase and award ceremony at the Nixon Library and thought I'd give a little shout out on some of the exciting things that happened today. Hello, this is Dr. Jeff Kim, National Board Certified Teacher, and I'm here with Ruben Patino. And it's a real special event, Ruben. Uh, this is the Civic California Civic Learning Student Showcase and Awards Ceremony. Why is a day like today so special for a person like you? Uh, I always enjoy these moments because it's where what was once thought as maybe impossible or improbable finally becomes reality. You know, let's talk about that a little bit. First of all, uh, today there, were, there was an amazing showcase of student speeches. Our and high school students talking about a variety of issues that matter to them. Was there any that stood out to you particularly? Um, you know, you hear many topics over and over again among the young people. So sometimes I find myself interested in ones that perhaps may have been an issue in the past, like air pollution. And you may think that that is gone, but that student made the choice to investigate it. And they said, you know what, this is still a continuing issue that maybe isn't a hot topic, but we still need to be aware of it. Um, what can we do to improve? That's right, because it begins with maybe the topic that they're passionate about, but it doesn't have to end there. It can lead toward a compassionate action. And we saw that happen, and that's what today is all about, really celebrating the California Democracy Awards, which is a big piece of this. What exactly is the criterion, once again, for the California Democracy Awards? Well, it starts with students coming up with something that misses their interest. So, perhaps it's air pollution, so then they need to frame the question. They don't want it too broad, they don't want it too narrow. It's something that they're going to be able to investigate and hopefully come up with a, a plan of action. So it's going to require opportunities to have dialogue about that. They're going to have to obviously do the research. They're going to have to create awareness, culminating in taking civic action, which is also part of the process, teaching them who do they reach out to. You don't want to go too broad, like write a letter to the governor. You need to think locally. So again, locally, who do you reach out to? Is there an air quality board? Is there somebody in the city I live in? So then once you have identified that person or people, you reach out to them. It could be through a letter, it could be going to speak at a public forum meeting. And then hopefully they're hearing what the student is sharing with them. They have evidence to support their argument. And they know that they may not necessarily get a resolution to the problem they, they identify, but they've now been empowered going forward for the rest of their life on how to be an active participant in the democracy in which they live. That's right, they learn at a very young age how to do this and that makes me feel so good that as they leave our high schools and go into college and into the world, they're much more prepared than had they not had this experience. And once again, who's getting these experience? All our California democracy schools, just in Anaheim Union High School District alone, who we see an award today. Uh, we went back and forth to 2020, right. but who, who do we got on this list here? All right, we have a Ball Junior, Ball high, Junior school, high School, John Kennedy High School, Orange View Junior High, Oxford Academy, Western High School, Cambridge Virtual Academy, and Anaheim High School, seven schools. Seven schools just today. Recognized today. Joining a, a family of schools that have already received California Democracy, so I believe. Our total is now 17. 17. The most in the state. The most in the state of California. And we really seeing the fruit of that everywhere, from Soapbox Beach, speeches all the way to civic action. Uh, today we had our Secretary of State come on out as well, and she just really also acknowledged that the importance of student voice and taking action, and, courageous and, and action. Part, and learning how to be a participant in democracy, because as she stated, it's hard work. 
big high five to you as one of our major civic leads in Anaheim Union High School District, uh, Ruben Patino. Thank you, Dr. Kim. Uh, you're one of our district coaches for civic learning, so it's all part of the good work you've been doing as well. And then filming this, of course, is Dr. Bryant, who celebrates and showcases every special moment in Anaheim Union High School District. We appreciate you as well. Thank you, Dr. Bryant.